Are you waking up still? Are you pooping? <laughs> yeah. I know that face. Today's supposed to be one of the coolest July mornings ever. I did not know that. We should go for a little family walk. See, she gets excited. She's ready to walk. I love walking. You think you want to go for a walk? Since you don't get to get out much, it's always too hot. You want to go for a walk? <laughs> Eva, look at you! <laughs> Is that how you walk? Yes. <laughs> Daddy wants to touch you. This is how I sit. Yeah. Wake up. Look. It's all your friends. Eva, there's so many friends here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Good line. Remember those big eyes like you do. It's the frog. Oh yeah. Ribbit. Yeah, that's ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. Yeah. Oh my god. And that's a frog. Frog. Yeah. It's close. And it says ribbit. There goes the frog. She's all sleepy eyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good morning, Ipa. What do you think about the house? What house? <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. <laughs> all right, so what's, what's going on here? It's been a little while, I guess, since we've had a full chat on the house, but. Look, that's where we're trying to get to with every single hole. So I can Only kind of... Only how many more to go? All of them. <laughs> we'll go to this one. So this is a good little example. We floated some steel inside of these holes right here. And then we put that wire mesh that's on the interior of, those, of the rebar. Uh, so the reason why we did that is so that we can tie off these vertical posts. Uh, that are, we're trying not to touch any of the walls of the, like, you know, basically no dirt. And the reason for that is basically to uh, keep the rot, like, keep them from rusting uh, while they're, in, like, inside of the cement. So if there's any kind of exposed steel underground, which there's going to be a little bit, uh, there's a chance for that to rust and kind of decay the, the footing a little bit, not much. Ultimately, we just need something that the concrete can bind to. 
and so we're doing these two by two uh, by one I guess uh, footings so it's just solid concrete underneath us and we're kind of overdoing it a little bit we're doing eight of those under each container uh, which is way more than what I've seen anyone else do on, on a lot of the containers I've been watching or like a, you know the builds that I've been watching uh, we have these vertical posts which they're not I think is it gonna be this high no okay I so like, that's a that's a tall house <laughs> we, we thought instead of just like we're gonna have someone actually come out and help us measure because we don't exactly I mean we have an idea but we don't have all the equipment we've never mm -hmm. done it before as far as the transit level to tell us exactly to where make sure it's perfectly level yeah, yeah. And, uh, and technically you can even tie off and make it taller. So if there's one that's like we cut too short or something, we could have just tied off. But uh, just to get it done, we just went high on all of them. And we can use a grinder and cut down where we need to mm -hmm. whenever we're putting the uh, sauna tubes in uh, to pour the next level. And if you look right down each one of these um, in any direction, uh, it's for the most part on these lines that we have set. So we set these lines just so we can know where center is, just so we can get a general idea. But because this is in, on the interior of the sauna tube, all these verticals, uh, that we actually have some leeway. So those are a foot wide or more. Uh, we can get bigger ones if we want to. And uh, those are, I mean, really, as long as you're within that, that foot on the inside, it's gonna be bound to the base footing because we're doing these in two pores, obviously. That's one pore. And the second one's gonna be the uh, vertical. Up. Yep. So that's pretty much what we've done. We've put steel in every single one. Uh, I took a little bit of drone footage, and so I just did like an overhead shot showing kind of like the footprint of what mm -hmm. this looks like. And uh, I think she's just eating her hand. <laughs> but we've done quite a bit of work. There, there's a lot of little things that we're not showing, but it's it, they're little things, like common sense. But it's like, very like tying things off a little bit more. Time consuming. It's very time consuming. And also back breaking. <laughs> so I've already hurt my back, and I'm still just working through it just to make it happen. Um, but I mean, it's really just, I'm just ready to get out of the holes. <laughs> Literally. Literally. So, uh, it really comes down to this next steps. Uh, so we have these different pours that we're going to do. Uh, we have the mixer that holds two bags at a time. It takes six bags per hole, roughly. Um, and so we should be done. I mean, really we can knock that in one day, but that's going to be hard on me mm -hmm. and just me and my dad. So I think it'll probably take two weekends for us to really knock it out. I have a show this weekend today, um, and so that leaves me just Sunday tomorrow uh, to work on it, which I think we can probably, if we really try, we can knock out this, these first eight. If we eight. come out here around this time. I know. If we come out here this time tomorrow, and I might get him to, to skip some church or something, and then uh, <laughs> we'll just knock out some holes. But uh, And then we have just eight remaining, and so we can just knock out four per day next weekend. Uh, but the idea is that I get a... Um, yeah, a plumber out next. I just talked to another electrician yesterday to potentially get another quote. Um, and then once we have that, which the electrician won't hold us back to get in the containers, the plumber might, because we may need to trench some underneath the footprint. In other words, it's better to do that before we put containers on it. So really it just comes down to finished concrete by next weekend. Uh, we can simultaneously have a plumber come out, give us some quotes and some ideas. We may do a cistern, uh, which if y'all don't know, a cistern pulls water, it can even be almost a trickle, uh, into a reservoir uh, that's by the house somewhere. Um, I just keep pointing right here because I bet we're going to put it either there or on the opposite side. And then uh, we can put some paneling on it or something. <laughs> yeah, this is what we've been doing for the, like, when we're not on screen, this is what Every we're doing. Every day. Every day. No, don't cry. Don't, don't, please don't cry. Please, yeah, don't, don't, please cry. don't No, no, don't blow up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but you're so cute. <laughs> and so the cistern's gonna be able to, like, we'll put a pump on the cistern and we can get whatever type of flow, like water flow that we want to. Have a nice, hot, like, powerful shower or something, you know? We haven't had that in a little while. Mm hmm And then, uh, what was the last thing? Septic. So septic doesn't have to be at the same time. That can be even at the very end if we really want it to be. But the plumber, again, has to be a part of that initially and then potentially the electrician. But uh, the septic, obviously the choices are traditional, which is basically just a hole in the ground. Um, and then we have uh, aerobic, uh, which takes, it's like a three-tier aerobic system that takes electricity, obviously because there's pumps to get into each, uh, each new sector. It is sprinkling a little bit. Do you feel the sprinkles? Do <laughs> you feel the sprinkles? And so um, we just have to find that out. So really we just need the design. <laughs> yeah, we just need the design and, uh, and the plumber. 
so those two things, really, the septic designer, which I've already talked to three of them, um, and then the plumber. I'm just going to keep saying it. Plumber. <laughs> but literally, this thing's almost off my plate uh, as far as getting to the next phase, and it's really just contractors uh, for a little while until we get to the framing of the interior. Oh, and I guess the cutting of the containers, which I'll do. Yeah, pretty excited about that. And then I have a friend that's coming in to weld, uh, so it'll be structurally sound. <laughs> so um, everything's already, everything's so mostly planned out. We just need to finalize it and get it done. So uh, I think we're, I'm not going to say we're going to be done, you know, like within the next couple of months, but we'll make some strides, like huge strides in the next couple Finally, months. Finally, yeah. yeah. We may be done. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> this part, It's everyone tells me this is kind of the part that moves quicker. After the foundation? After the foundation. Because then it's contractors who come in and they do a lot of it, and then the last bit is uh, is is the fun part, you know, tiling and stuff. And then this is Eva's little room, right next to ours. What do you think, Eva? <laughs> <laughs> that a yummy hand. It's a yummy hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Say it, Eva. See it. Eva, say have fun out there. Have fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have fun out there guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Transition. <laughs> <gasps> Who's that? <coughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh, Buzz can't get up there to smell her. Buzz. Buzz, Buzz. Hold on, hold on. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Don't charge. <laughs> oh, yeah, got her hand. Wipe her hand off. And board. Eva, those are your brothers. Those are your brothers. <laughs> she was like, they look just like me. <laughs> Buzz. Buzz. Buzz, can you still do it? High five. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Buzz. Hi. Oh my god. Brady, Brady, sit. I can remember sit. that. Look, he's sitting Chick. behind you. Oh, good boy. Chick. 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 Oh, and that's fine too. So sweet. Everybody misses you, boys. Stay, stay, stay. Don't put that on me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Y'all are gonna love the new house. Y'all will love it. Eva, what are you doing? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stop being so sweet. Stop being so sweet. Are you sliding down slowly? Yeah, you're sliding down. <laughs> Where are you going, Eva? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yeah? Oh, is that a camera? Hey, Eva. Good morning, well, Eva. You know, I gotta put the camera on when the camera comes on. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which we're so close to being. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yay. Cut, cut, cut that out. Cut, oh, yep. cut that out. Yep. <laughs>